no, no. Let me open it. Okay. <laughs> you were really going to start it like that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Talking Telltale, episode I can't remember. But it's been a couple weeks, and I'm sorry that we've missed a couple weeks now. You Are you sorry, Curtis? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want me to be sorry, then yes. I'm right. sorry, guys, too. So, <laughs> you actually made me comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now, if you've been following us, me and Reese did Talking Telltale Episode 1. That means CJ did Talking Telltale Episode 2. But, Reese wants to continue doing Talking Telltale with me. So, me and Reese are going to finish out Borderlands, since that's when he played. And me and CJ are going to start The Walking Dead Season 2. So, it's going to be kind of weird, but... Um, it can it can keep the content flowing. So I don't think it's weird. So schedules work out. It's, it's kind of weird to jump back and forth. Yeah. But anyway, now we're going to talk about The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1. And we have all the stuff written down. And it's time to go over it. Is there anything you want to throw out there to the fans of this show? No. Okay, well, we might be getting some special guests on. I know I mentioned that last episode, maybe the one before. But it's going to happen. We're going to get people who are somehow associated with Telltale Games actors, developers, they're going to be on the show, but just wait and see, okay? So, if you don't know, we spoil everything in the season. So, quit watching if you haven't played The Walking Dead Season 2, or keep watching if you don't care, if you don't plan to. We're going to go over everything. So, Walking Dead Season 2 opens up with Clementine, who you didn't play as in the first game, you played as in the second, which is really cool. And you're continuing her story with Omid, and I can't remember the girl's name. Is it the only game? No, it's not the only game, but like, it's unique playing with a little girl. As a little girl. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, the Last of Us came out. Oh, well, The Last of Us Left Behind, so you play as Ellie. And then The Walking Dead plays Clementine. I can't remember. I think there was a third one. I can't remember. Anyway, it is really different playing as a little girl, especially like a young mm-hmm. girl. Yeah. Like, she's like, what, eight? I don't know. Ten? Um, so this game opens up. With her, Omid, and the pregnant lady with Omid's kid. They're, they're like a couple who you left the city with. And they're the only two left in this whole group that you guys created in season one. Exactly. Well, I guess we'll figure out more in the future. Maybe some people are still alive. Maybe. But anyway. Yeah. But I felt like this is all that's left, these two. And they came in halfway. Yeah. Like all the originals are gone. Yeah, all the originals. It's crazy. But you know, that's how this world is now. So. Yep. So they're they're traveling together. They stop at a like a random bathroom, and Clementine does a stupid mistake, and she 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 sets her gun on the sink, and then goes into a stall. If I'm living in this world, I'm keeping my gun with me at all times. I'm taking it with me to the stall. Yeah, in too. the bathroom. Yeah, I feel most vulnerable. Ver, vul, I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel most vulnerable when I'm on the toilet or in the bathroom. Or watching my head. When you're on the toilet. <laughs> when you're taking a dump, you feel the most vulnerable. Or, um, yeah, or taking a shower. So, yeah. So, so, you gotta have your gun with you at all times. You gotta shower with it, sleep with it, poop with it. Yeah, I, I just can't imagine not having my gun with me in this world. I'd be scared, like, 24-7. Yeah. In a bathroom, zombie easily walk in there. Yeah. So, anyway, this little girl who I think is around 13, he's, he's he acts like she's super old, but... She's like a little girl who comes in the bathroom and threatens uh, Clementine to give her all her stuff or she'll kill her. Which, I never really felt that scared from her because she's just a little girl. I don't think she's actually going to shoot anyone. But, Omid walks into the bathroom and like kind of sneaks up on her and the bathroom door closes. And she shoots Omid and says, I'm really sorry, I didn't the mean to. The game just started and you already lost the guy. You lost the guy who was in last season. Like, yeah. an important character. And now you're down to two people including yourself. Yeah. So, I can't believe they opened it up with a death. Yeah, of Omid. He like, was cool. I, I think they did that because like, it's so unexpected. Like You don't expect someone to die that quick Mm-mm. right when the game starts. No, it's, it's like, a, it's like a, a good opening because like, immediately you're like freaking, you're oh already, my God. You're already like, emotional and drawn into it as soon as the game starts. Yeah. That's how good Telltale is. Everybody. Telltale. Oh my God, you're so good. Yeah. Anyway, so... Omid walks in the bathroom, gets shot, and then Omid's girlfriend, wife, mother of his child, walks in. The baby's not born yet. It's in her belly. And the little, like, 13-year-old girl, she was like, oh, my God, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. And the freaking the girl who's pregnant just straight up shoots the girl. And I, I thought that was a little much. 
No, I think she deserved it. She didn't mean to kill him, though. Like, she did, She was just scared. She was just she trying was to... She was startled. She was just stealing stuff, which she shouldn't do, but she's a little girl out in the, the wild, with zombies everywhere. I don't I mean, know, man. I don't need this girl in my life. <laughs> like, she just came in, took a gun, and threatened Clementine, and then shot that guy. Yeah, so she immediately died after like, Amit. And, and the world's already crazy, so, you know, let's not deal with this. Let's not, like, I don't trust her. I, I don't know. She's too trigger-happy. Yeah, that's true. So, then, fast forward 16 or 18 months, can't remember what it said, and it's just Clementine and the lady. I wish I would have wrote down her name. <laughs> I'll have to say it a hundred times. Uh, so, they're at a campfire, and this, 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 this is where we get to the first decision. And it's, do you burn the picture of Lee, or do you put it back in your book bag? I don't understand what's the why is that even a choice? Why would you want to burn the picture? Why do people want to burn the picture? To forget about the past. Why? Because it haunts them. It's like the only thing you can hold on to. That's all. A lot of people think the opposite. They think you should only focus. Like on you shouldn't what's hold forward. on to. Yeah. <laughs> Especially a bad memory. I didn't burn the pic. I want to keep that with me. Yeah, I didn't either. Uh, Lee was really cool, and they have a lot of history. It's kind of crazy that her now. Has already spent more time with, with, uh, with uh, Omid and his wife or whatever than she ever did with Lee. That's true. Like it was just a small part of her time alive after the apocalypse. Yeah, but it obviously still affects her. She really, she really loved Lee. And then you either burn the pick or don't burn the pick, and then these bandits attack. Yeah, then a bunch of these bandits attack and. They are attacking her, and then you have the option if you want to distract the bandits or just run away and save yourself. Now, we did what was right and distracted the bandits. Yeah. But if it, if it was like a real situation that we were actually in... <laughs> I probably would have ran away. I, I, I don't like they already have her... I don't know. She is all I have left in this world, but they already have her. I don't know what I would do if I would... I might run. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think even if you run away, you, like, step on a twig as you're backing up, and then they see you, and you do the same yeah. thing in Batman. Yeah. But, yeah, so you run away, and you fight these guys off. You end up escaping because you fall inside of a river, and you go down the river, wash up on shore, and then you walk down a road, and you see a little dog. And you become his friend. He's a good dog. It'd be cool to have a relationship with a, a dog, so, like someone you can that's a loving, and tr- well, you would think is loving and trustworthy. Um, yeah, so... Like, in this world, I would I would like to have a dog. Yeah, me too. Dogs are awesome. Yeah. I'd like to have a dog in this world. And they could actually... I, they could, some of them, I guess, could protect you. Some dogs are scared. Well, anyway, the dog seemingly is super nice, and that she plays catch with it, fetch. And it's like a nice little relationship. You think that a relationship actually might be built with a dog. But then the second you find food, and you refuse to give it to the dog, he freaking attacks and goes a vicious animal on you. You did give some to the dog. You could, I think, but I still think you could say no at the very beginning. Um, but either way, it attacks you and bites your freaking arm. Yes, it bites you. It looks like a zombie bite. Then you throw the dog yeah. over a log and he lands on some spikes. And then you get to another choice. Do you choose to kill the dog to take it out of its misery or you just let that little mutt suffer? I kill it? Yeah, me too. Uh, what is the advantage to letting it suffer? You are, you're, you're salty because he bit you. Salty? <laughs> like, I don't know, that's petty. Yeah. I mean, it's a dog, like, you can't blame it. At the know. same time, in real life, it might be kind of hard to stab a dog. Like, to go, th- to do it, like, basically. Yeah. That's I've the only thing. It. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think as to why. But I don't want to be with this dog anyway if it bit me. Like, I'm not trusting it. Yeah, me either. You know. So it did, obviously. It fell in some spikes. So yeah. you just put out its misery, walk away, and then you meet a whole new group of people that are about to be in the whole rest of the season. Yep. They're like the, the season one people, except in the next season. Yeah. So then they're confused because they see a bite, a weak little girl who's dying, and they immediately think that it's a zombie bite. I would too. But you tell them no. And then they take you to the house where there's a huge, like, disagreement as to whether or not they should put you to, 
to like to kill you or to like which to makes you, you really frustrated because you know it's a dog bite it's a little girl she's trust like you should trust I, I, but if I was the if I was that group maybe I do want to put her in the shed you know yeah you don't want to risk your the life of your group because you've been like just for this random person you found in the woods yeah the girl or not I mean yeah you know so. What I mean? It makes sense. It, it does it makes, make sense, but she was dying. They yeah, could have at least they, they could have at least like helped her wound. She obviously I guess wasn't did, turning yet. Well, I guess they didn't want to waste supplies if she was bitten. Oh yeah, that's probably yeah. the part where they argued about. Yeah, but they could have done something. Like, yeah, I think she was hit a huge gash. I think it's worth at least trying. You know, at least trying to help someone. Yeah, if there's a chance, because she could be telling the truth. There's a chance. Yeah. So yeah. then. They put you in the shed to basically bleed out and die. And then Clementine's like, screw that. I'm busting out of here. She sneaks inside the house. Um, wait, what's this part? Oh, yeah. So you sneak inside the house and you, 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 you go upstairs. And there's a little girl who's just like slightly older than Clem looks like. And you, you basically choose if you want to threaten her to help you or if you want to befriend her to help you. And she asks, will you be my friend? I, well, okay, so first I was friendly. I told her what I needed. And, because I mean, I'm not going to threaten her, especially since I just broke into the house like she could, I don't know. But, uh, when she said, are you my friend? And she said, then she, asked, she said, do you promise? Mm -hmm. And the game just started. I just met this girl. <laughs> I am not making any promises because I don't know what, what's going to happen in the next episode next five episodes yeah like you can't promise anything like that yeah and i'm if, done making promises if you learn one thing i know from from you that you don't make promises uh, telltale like you can't be like you can't be sure like like you can say yes i was willing to say yes but like it was like a yes i promise you know yeah. what i mean yeah like you said yes you're you're yesing to promising yeah so i said i said i just met you we're not friends <laughs> So that was the option was we're not friends or I just met you we're not friends or yes we're friends. I said yes we're friends and we can be best friends because I wanted to kind of have a friend but more I wanted her to trust me so I could take advantage of her and give her and hope that she gets me stuff because that's how you got to be. I'm in not this betraying world. anyone. That's how you got to be. In I, this and world. I don't know what the future is of this game, so I just I didn't want to make any promises because I know Telltale like. People stab each other. <laughs> you just that up and hit you in the eyeball. I know. <laughs> um, can you talk to the crowd for one second? I'm going to make sure the camera's still recording. Yeah. And so, in, in Telltale, people go against each other. People start arguing with each other. Everyone starts having these different uh, uh, discompositions. What? <laughs> You everyone, just made up a word right here on Talking Telltale. Everyone, everyone starts like things go south. Like there's there's a path and things go right, left, back, everything. And I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you just can't make any promises when it comes to Telltale. You want to just kill Squirtle? <laughs> um, the camera stopped recording, so I'm gonna add some gameplay there, but it's not a big deal. It was only like probably two minutes of no video. All right. Uh, so. That's why you always record audio second. I mean, audio as well. So is it recording now? Yeah, video's recording right. now. And so, and then, and then we find out the girl in the house, like, in this group, because we're, we're eating soup. Oh, we, we didn't actually, actually, I skipped something. What? Uh, giving yourself stitches. That's, that's not, yeah, we just got the supplies, and then... Oh, and then we hear the girl in the house while we're sneaking out. Yeah, so... You're in the bathroom. Yeah. You find out that a girl downstairs who's pregnant. Um, you find out that she's pre she could be pregnant with the whole group that's in the house's nemesis, which is like Carver, yeah. I believe is his name. I, next episode, I'm gonna look up all. And the here's names. the thing: that's a cool fact. It's interesting to know, but I don't want anything to do with drama. I'm not. I don't want to be in like. <laughs> I know you. Like it's you cool. Live your life. It's cool to hear it. Like okay, yeah, I, it's good to know like what's going on between these people and these people. But I am not getting involved. Like I'm not gonna go tell on you. I'm not gonna go. Do it. Like I just, I'm just gonna know. And, I think and base my decisions off of what I know from you. I think sooner or later you have the option to tell them too, if it's. And is it my duty, right? To tell them that she's not sure. I don't know. I just met these people. I don't care about them. Like 
I don't want. Well, okay, I don't want to say I don't care about them, but I don't they, want to be in their drama. Yeah, and they kind of threw you in a shed, yeah. so you don't. Really, I wouldn't really trust them. Like, okay, she's had, she's she's had she cheated or did something or, or lied about being pregnant with this guy. I don't care. Like, yeah. I just met you. I'm not going to get involved in your drama. I'm not going to judge. I'm going to let you deal with your own whatever you got into. Yeah. So, so. then, what's this? Give bad guy. What where is that? <laughs> okay, and then well, okay, we and then you go back to the shed. Yeah. And then you stitch stuff up, which is one of the most gruesome scenes I've ever seen in the They make they make you like go to each little You have to stab spot, through both holes. Poke a hole with the needle through your flesh. A little girl's on and then tighten it. And she's like screaming during it and it's like a and camera the shaking. The camera's like going yeah, in and out. Yeah. Pretty yeah. crazy, man. I gave myself awesome. stitches. And then a zombie. That was worse than the Lee cutting off his arm. That was way worse. And then a zombie attacks. And a zombie attacks right after you freaking your arms killing you. And you, you're freaking you're you're a little girl and you're fighting a zombie. You kill it. People come into the shed. They and you're swing like, open the I'm door. I'm still not bitten. You're you're like bloody and you yeah. can choose to say like different things, but the best one is still not bitten, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, Cause she's a little girl. Super awesome, right? They didn't believe her. Yeah, I just yeah. love that. Like how badass. That got me attacks. fired up. Clementine yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So, then, and then you 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 find these people. You want you go fishing. Well, first I want to talk about you, you go in the house and they start asking a little questions. I didn't write any of this down, but you basically you kind of befriend this one dude who I should have wrote down his name. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the guy with the hat. So bad with names, but I mean uh, we know the game. Yeah. So you you befriend a new guy. And some other people in the house are kind of, like, not nice to you at all, but this guy actually is. And then you find out that you're going to go fishing or, like, hunting or something for yeah. food. And then you leave with a group of dudes, which is, like, the dad and the two sons, right? Or, yeah. like, a dad and a son and a cousin? Yeah. it's something like that. So the dad and another dude don't really like you that much or they don't trust you, but the one guy does. And then so you get to this, like... Like this is like fishing spot, but you see a dead body. Well, first you see your book bag, and then you find out that the dead body next to it isn't dead. It's actually alive, and it's one of the guys that attacked you and your friend at the very beginning of the, this episode. So you can choose if you want to help him and give him the water in your book bag, or if you want to keep it. Which one did you choose? Um, I, you know, um, he did. He's a bad guy, and he did what he had to do. But I'm gracious in myself. Oh my God! No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just I really I felt like the right thing to do is give him water maybe change his mind and besides that'll get him to talk yeah does it I don't know you don't remember I don't know but I mean like anything helps and like hey you did this bad thing but look at me I'm a better person yeah drink this water yeah I didn't give him the water he's a total a-hole wow he just he was, so you're just as bad as him. He just attacked us. Mm -hmm. He attacked, and then, mm -hmm. then I got separated from the person I was with for over a year. That's true. And then a dog bit me, and I had to put stitches in my arm. If he wouldn't have attacked us, none of that would have happened. Yeah. Everything would be normal. So you didn't give him water? No, I didn't give him water. He sucks. And he, I, th I think he dies anyway, or I, don't, I, I can't remember. I, in the next one, I don't remember what I chose. You don't remember at the end? No, I don't remember if I ch which one I chose. Okay, well, you choose if you want to go with the guy you've you've befriended or with the dad of that guy or the older dude. And I chose the nice guy. Yeah, whichever one was nicer is the one I chose. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I did because I remember hiding in that. Yeah, like a shed or something. So, yeah, that's in the next episode. But yeah. yeah, that is in the next episode. Yeah, I remember that. So I did, I did choose him. Yeah, so we chose the nice guy. And yeah. how long is this episode? It seems really short. It's not that bad. 20 minutes. Let us know if you want episodes to be longer. We can draw some stuff out, tell some stories. I shouldn't have said that. What? Nothing. Um, comment on the videos. Yeah. No one's commenting. We're getting at least like a 100 views. I mean, not much, but I'm not going to throw... Uh, we, we made a deal that we were going to throw something at the camera at the, last, at the end of every episode... But I just got a brand new camera, so I'm not gonna throw anything at it. <laughs> yeah. If it was the bad camera, I would. All right. Um, oh, I'll try. I'll try to hit it. It's not like it's gonna fall from a piece of paper. 
perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, that probably looked cool to you guys, didn't it? Coming I doubt on that. It. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm Brett Medlock. This is Talking Telltale. We talk about a different episode of a Telltale game every single time. Stay tuned. We're going to try to get some guests on here from Telltale, from actors who were in Telltale games. It's going to happen, even if CJ doesn't want it to. Okay. We'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. See you. What is it? It's like a phone. Thank you.